gladiators. If you're seeing this video right now, it's because you guys chose Rune Factory Frontier. This one is my absolute favorite, and we actually are just going to do a new game. I have another character. He's pretty far into the game. But we're going to do a new game because we want our own little story, don't we? So this is Rune Factory Frontier. It is like Harvest Moon, but you have monsters. You can explore dungeons My memory. and a capture the monsters, live. and you have like swords and stuff. It's so cool. You'll, you guys will love this one. When I was on the verge of collapse, I met her. So this is going to tell a little story of why we end up in this new village of ours. The music is beautiful food, in this game. A home and new memories. The graphics are amazing too for a for a game like this. However, she suddenly disappeared one day, without a single word to anybody. That very next day, I left the town behind to search for her. It's getting pretty dark. I better look for a place to rest for the night. I wonder if I can find lodging over there. So I'm going to do really bad voice impressions just because it's fun. Okay? Good evening. You're looking for a missing girl? I'm very sorry to hear that. If you don't mind this humble place, you should rest here for the night. Thank you so much, sister. Um... Stella. Sister Stella, thank you very much. My name is... Of course, we are going to name ourselves Sparky. Sure, it's not the original name, but that's my name. That's what I will be, Sparky. Sparky, huh? That's a wonderful name. By the way, Sparky, was this missing girl your sweetheart? No, no, it's nothing like that at all. But she is a very important person to me. I see. Well, let's just leave the matter be for now, eh? It's getting late. You should rest. Good night. Okay, be honest, guys. If you don't like me voicing these people, then tell me now, please, so I don't make a bunch of episodes and sound like an idiot. So this is the church, by the way. Um, Sister Stella runs it. She's kind of the mayor of the town, in a way. Thank you for last night, Sister Stella. How can I repay you? We must help... We must all help each other out in times of need. I'll be praying your search goes well. Thank you. My voice is going to be Sparky's voice, by the way, if you can't tell. Good morning. Uh. Oh, I wonder who that is. You are... Missed! It's you! Yes, I missed, and you, you look just like Sparky. That's cause I am him! Oh, what a coincidence to meet at a place like this. I came looking for you, Mist. Ah ha ha! So Mist was the missing girl Sparky was looking for. Sister Stella? I didn't know you knew Sparky. I just happened to stop here for the night while I was looking for you. More importantly, what in the world are you doing here, Mist? Everyone's worried about you because you left so suddenly. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, then could you return to town and tell everyone I'm fine? Huh? You're not coming back with me? I can't. Someone is calling for me. Again with the nonsense. I know, Sparky. You should stay here. What? I can't do that. If I remember correctly, there's an empty house next to the one I live in. Well, yes, there is, but no one's lived there for so long. It's a mess, not to mention the farm. Don't worry. Sparky's very skilled at tending to such things. I'm sure he'll clean this up, right? Um, I don't remember it agreeing to staying here. Come on, Sparky. It's this way. 
This is a little fun, voicing them, even though I suck, this is fun. All right, but this game is cool. Uh, Mist, as he was telling, Mist is somebody who's very important to her. He came looking for her because he ran out of t she ran away from town one day. Just down this path. Please, wait. Sparky, once you finish up some work, can you come to my place? Sure. There are so many bachelorettes in this game too. It, it's awesome. I will um, have a link in the description so you guys can choose who I marry. By the way, so make sure to click that and look through who you like and we'll pick. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's a floating well! That's Whale Island. It's always in the sky above Trampoli Village. What a strange island. I heard there's a cave inside it. Pick Hugh's your interest, doesn't it? Yeah, just a bit, actually. Yeah. How does an island float above the clouds like that? I'm sure you'll be able to find the answer to that, Sparky. I just know it. Anyway, let's go. Follow me. It's this way. Oh, this game is so fun. I mean, you have no idea, guys, how fun this game is. And it's beautiful. This game is also beautiful, my goodness. This is your new home, Sparky. How do you like it? It's great, isn't it? Um, well, I guess so. And it looks like crap. <laughs> Feel free to use this house and farm in front however you like. You know what? You should give your farm a name. Alright, let's name it Fantasy. What? What makes her think I want to name my farm after her? That's hilarious. That's a great name. I think it suits the place. I hope you weren't planning on saying that no matter what I named it. <laughs> it's gonna be great to have you here. See you later. Oh, some of this dialogue is just hilarious. I almost forgot. You're going to need this. I got a cheap hoe. All right. And a cheap can. I guess I'm a homeless person. Oh, I see. I see what kind of hole that meant. Okay. Oh, you know what sucks? In my other game, I have really nice tools. And this one I have to start all over. So this will be fun. You definitely have a knack for being an earthmate, Sparky. I can tell just by looking at you. Oh, and another thing. I wanted to give you this, Sparky. It's turnip seeds. She's obsessed with turnips. So we definitely are going to give her some of these. I'll be looking forward to those turnips. Does this mean I have to give her some? <laughs> it actually does, Sparky. I'm sorry to say that. Alright, look at this, guys. We are starting our new farm adventure called Rune Factory Frontier. Let's actually start by picking a bunch of these so we can sell them because we need a little extra money. Um, we can also just clean up our fields so we can hoe and start getting some seeds because that's very important in this game. You want to start bringing as much money in as you can because you're going to need a lot to upgrade your house and your barn and um, get materials and stuff. So just we're going to start by picking all this stuff. Those weeds are worth nothing. I'm not I'm not going to worry about them yet. I'm just getting the big buck stuff. Okay. Not big buck stuff, but some buck stuff, you know what I mean? This is where you, we will sell all of our items. Since we already have some seeds, we just need to use our hoe around a close place to our house, and we can plant it. They do it by a 3x3 three three square. Um, all the land is the same fertility, but you can upgrade the fertility of the land. I think that's what it's called, right? I mean, the land has to be fertile. So does a woman if you want to have a kid. Anyway. Alright, so our skills are going up. We are losing a lot of RP, which is our rune points. And that's kind of like stanima. We're losing a lot of that because we just started and we don't have much to go by. We just have... We don't have any skills. 
Yeah, and the more skills you get, the less RP that using an item will take. Each own item will have its own RP, like the watering can. All watering cans will have their own. All hoes will have their own. So, we just want to get a little start in here, and then we'll go check out our house, and check out the start menu, and then go wander around town and meet everybody. Now, I'm planning to keep these episodes at least 30, less than 30 minutes. I don't plan to go any more than that. So let's explore our... Um, our bag. So this is our inventory. It's where all our items are held. You know, you have your tools. This is where you'll put your headgear, your torso gear, and all that stuff so you can go battle in the caves, because like I said, there is battling in this game. Um, here's custom, so you can set like your own custom palette. You also have a custom area for the map, which is for food. Here's our relationships. We only know two people. We know, um, what's her name? Mist. And we know Stella. This just tells us everything that's in our house. Um, this is recipes. You can get books later to learn how to craft things. Options, of course. Profit. We haven't sold anything. We don't have a barn yet. And here's our status. We have our level. We have how many experience to next level. Our attack, our HP, and all this stuff. Over here is where we have... See, at farming, we already have three levels, so... I guess I was wrong. Um, our farming tools will give us farming. Crafting will give us crafting. Fishing will give us fishing. Okay. Um, it's the other factory game that actually gives you separate. So let's go in, in our house really quick and check it out. Let's see. Here we have our bed. This is where we save our game. At the end of the night. That's usually when I do it. We got our, our calendar here. We don't have anything going on. Each each um is 30 days. I can promise you that this is going to be a lot of episodes. This is for fun, like I've said. Uh, just for the heck of it. Um, here we can get a forge. We can get an alchemy set. And then we can have a kitchen. But that probably won't be till later when we get more... Um, more... Money. Money, that's what I was talking about. More money! So let's go explore and meet everybody in town. More people do come throughout the game. We have somebody named Bianca who comes later. We have another guy, I forgot his name, and he comes later. Um, it is a little 11 a.m., so everybody should be open. Eric's farm, closed for preparations. Maybe I lied. Okay. Maybe we can't go meet anybody. Here's Cross, he's a ghost, as far as we know. Hello. <laughs> Are you new here? Nice to meet you. I just moved here. My name is Sparky, and you are? You, you don't need to know what my name is. The villagers always forget it anyway. Um, are you Cross? Hello? H how do you know my name? Huh? It's written on your mailbox. You really write your name with really cute letters, Cross. <laughs> that isn't my writing. I'm sure the mailman just wrote it himself out of consideration. You should take a look inside your mailbox sometime and should be in front of your house. <laughs> now then, I should get back to work. Your name was Sparky, was it? When you need some help, don't hesitate to ask. Just come to me when you want extensions. Alright, up here we- I'm not gonna go there yet, but that's Cross. He, um, is rumored to be a ghost. I really haven't figured out if he is or not. But yeah, it's really cool. He, I think- I like him a lot. I wish I could marry him, but... Sorry we can only marry girls in this game. Um, which is fine with me, because I, I have no objections against girls. Alright, actually, Stella wanted us to go to um, the church, so maybe we should go do that before we meet everybody. Might as well, I mean, if that's what she asked. Man, this place is missing buildings that I have in my other game, and it's really weird to see it without all these buildings that I have in that one. Anyway, let's go up to the church. See what Stella has for us. What is it? I'm glad you came. Can you do me a favor and take this bamboo shoot to Turner at the end? I can't do grandma voice. To Turner at the end? The end is all the way west. It's right around the corner. The fat man there is Turner. <laughs> Alright. Hold up the bamboo shoot and press A in front of Turner to give it to him. Alright, this starts 
Oh, and if you don't know where the inn is, just look at the map. The map? Press the 2 button to look at the map at any time. There's a map in the village too, so you should look at those as well. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's go give this bamboo shoot to Turner. Sparky, you can do this, right? It's a simple task. That first house I went to was the guy that sells seeds. That's why I went there first, because I was planning to buy some seeds. But I guess they pro prohibit you from doing that on the first day of the game. Or the second day, I guess. Alright, so this is the inn. Oh, are you a customer? Alright, here is... Uh, bachelorette number one. Dad, we your have niece. a customer. Um, Where are you, she's Dad? the one I'm actually going for in my other game. So, but she is one of the bachelorettes. Um, she is void in this one, so you can't vote for her. I won't listen to your vote. I'm sorry for being so hasty. So yeah, so she is one of the bachelorettes, though. I'm sorry for well, being hasty. Oh. Um, welcome. Will you be staying? You are staying, right? Um, um, that'll be 100 gold. Will you be staying? No, I didn't come here for that. Oh, really? I'm sorry I babbled on without knowing that. I'm your niece. My family runs the inn, but I guess you can tell just by looking. Nice to meet you. Where's Turner? Nice to meet you, Sparky. At night, the bar next to the inn will be open, so please come whenever you feel like it. Alright, Mr. Turner, where are you hiding? You're a big man. I don't think I could miss you. None of those rooms are actually open. This is your niece's room, and this is Turner and his wife's room. Maybe they're over here? No, they're not. Where's Turner? He's hiding from us! Maybe he's here after I come back in. There he is! Hello, Turner! Hey! You must be Sparky! How do you do? Sorry if my unis caused you any trouble! Haha. <laughs> I'm Turner, the owner of this inn. Hello. Ah, uh, didn't Stella tell me to give Turner a bamboo shoot? All right, here I'm gonna break into your the back of your thing, and I'm gonna give you this bamboo and then shoot you with it. I mean, what? What? That doesn't work, right? Oops. There you go, dude. Not that you need. This is from Stella, right? Thanks. Since it's on the way, can you call Ganesha to the blacksmith for me? The forge is north of the inn. Sure. Since apparently I'm everybody's slave, even though I just moved here, shouldn't everybody be doing my bidding? Jeez. What jerks. Alright, Ganesha's gonna be up here. Oh man, I wish she was a bachelorette. I would marry her in a heartbeat. But sadly, she is not, so... We'll just have to keep dreaming. Are you new? Yes, I just moved here. My name is Sparky. I'm Ganesh. As you can see, I'm a blacksmith. Ha 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 What? You never see saw an Elven blacksmith before? Um, no, I guess. You're an honest one. I like you. Mmm, girl. You can be up all over me. Even Elven blacksmiths are rare, but I can recommend with confidence of anything I sell. I'm especially proud of this relief. Of the relief on the edge of this shield. No, I'm not here to shock. I came here because Turner. Turner? Oh, he must have chipped the blade on the kitchen knife again. I'll go later. He's so helpless. Sparky, was it? Thanks for telling me. Just come to my store anytime. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I ask you for something else? What is it? Can you give Danny of the general store the payment for my tab? The general store is right next to my place. Alright. Thanks. Really now? I mean, we're just, we're just slaving. Our first day here and we're slaving.
Right, here is one of the maps, by the way. You can see the town. We're in the business district. Here's our home. This is Mista's house. This is the beach over here. This is where Cross and them live. You can come up here to go to Lake Poli. The public square is where we have the areas. And we're actually going to go to Danny's store, which is right here. This guy is a... he's weird. A customer? You're not. What do you want? Who are you? Hello, my name is Sparky and I just moved here. Oh, so you're just making your rounds. I'm the owner of the general store and the name's Danny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Danny. You don't need to call me that. Just Danny is fine. I'm the only general store in the village, so even if you don't like it, don't complain. Oh. What did you come to buy? Seeds? Accessories? No, I didn't come here to buy anything. You're not a customer? Then get out. I don't have time for window shoppers. No, I brought some money for Ganesh. Oh. One, two, yep, all there. I'll be going now. Wait. Yes. You're going around greeting everyone, right? Then can you go to Eric and do something for me? Again. Again. Never mind. So, someone named Eric? Yeah, Eric lives in the house with the field straight south of here. Alright. Thanks. Oh, and buy something next time. Yeah, whatever, dude. Just get out of my face. He's so pushy. And then somebody's actual, somebody else's shop comes into the town. And he's like, oh, I lost all my business. And he can't figure out why. It's because he's a dick. Anyway, we're gonna go down to Eric's house. This is the guy who sells the seeds, thank goodness. Let's see what, what he wants. What does what's going up? He's funny. I like this guy. Hello, young man. I'm Eric and I run this farm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sparky. I just moved in next door. Oh, in the house with the large field? If you need any advice about your field, you can ask me anytime. What? Do I have a girlfriend? I can't tell you. Ha 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 ha. I didn't even ask him. He's just coming out of nowhere and saying that. Um, I didn't ask. Then why are you here? I have something from Danny. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to ask you for. You're quite young and immature for running off without hearing what to do, young man. But I know the situation. The seed that he wanted has just arrived. Thank you for relaying the message. Alright, I can share the crops I grow on my farm with you. Just ask. Yes. If you want to know anything about farming, just ask me. What? I, do I have a girlfriend? Give that a rest. Hey, I think man. he's gay. I'm just saying. But... But I'm not... I'm not dissing or anything, I'm just saying. Now then, what would you like? Alright. So this is the shopping interface. Um, We're in, what, spring right now? So we want to get some of these. As you tell, we have autumn, we have summer, we have spring. But we do not have... Anything else? Oh, I only wanted one, darn it. Anyway, but we don't have a winter because you can't grow crops in winter. But that doesn't mean you can't grow crops somewhere else, so we'll learn that later on in the game. Um, so we're in spring, we want some strawberry Anything seeds, else? I guess. Anything else? Come and we again. can get one more turnip seed. That should give us um, enough money to start out at least. Though our stanima will be low by the end of the day. But that's okay. Alright, so we got everything and we have some seeds now. So let's go plant that in our field. I'm not able to clean up my field yet. So we're just going to try our best to keep everything unscattered. Uh, let's see, a cheapo. When you um, plow your field like this, weeds and rocks and stuff won't um, appear, thankfully. So, um, if you want to, you can plow as much as you need to. A 
boxes and the um, all the junk over there won't appear. But you do want to keep at least half your field so that um, rocks can appear because you'll need the lumber and the material for building parts of your house and barn and all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. Oh my goodness, Mist is watching me. She's such a creep. Mist, go away. Just, just leave. I refuse to marry Mist, by the way. Do not tell me to marry Mist. I will not marry her. She is such a creepy girl. Just saying. Alright, so we have... I think we have enough room for the fooder. I'm actually going to start getting fooder because we will be getting a barn and monsters eventually. And it's better to just start start out um, ahead of time. I really do like the interface of this game. Um, select will give you the quick menu as you just saw me open. See, I have my farming tools. I go down, I have my seeds. Um, that's the only two I have now, but later on when you get weapons and stuff, you can do that. You also can use motion in this game. All I'm doing is shaking the Wii remote in order to water. And as you upgrade your watering can, you can push B and you can like water more squares, which is really nice, and I can't wait to do that. That's what I'll be aiming for at first. After a barn, I'll be aiming to get a forge. Because that'll be the next step. So I think we'll have enough stamina for one more. Later on in the game you also get like a, a bathhouse to raise your stamina. But we don't have that right now, so... Yeah. We're just kind of going through today. I'm not planning to go anywhere or do anything important. Let's see. Seeds. We have one more turnip seed. Also, the plants do die at the end of the season, so you want to make sure that they're not going to overlap, or whatever, if you know what I mean. Well, Sparky's definitely got this down. That's for sure. Alright, so there is the start of our beautiful farm. <laughs> I'll uh, we'll see if we can pick all these weeds after we see what Mist is up to. Sparky, you are using the return magic spell. Return magic? Yes, it's a spell that returns you to where you can be at peace. Using this will instantly bring you back to your home. It's a very nice spell that also takes you back to the entrance when using it in dungeons. That sounds pretty convenient. How do I use it? It's very simple. Just press the 2 button to select return. As long as you have this, you can easily escape even when surrounded by monsters. Plus, it doesn't use any RP. Isn't that great? That sounds incredible! But sometimes it's unavailable for some reason. What? What if that happens when I'm fighting monsters? Well, there's a saying only God knows. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's crazy. She drives me crazy. But yes, we can do that. We can be anywhere on the field, do that, and we'll return right in front of our house. We can also do that in caves. Um, so we'll end up at the entrance. So, it looks like it's bedtime, so let's go save the game. Next episode, we'll go and do the next thing. So thank you guys so much for watching, like, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this new series here. See ya!